Hi guys, this is Ben Gilbert from Gilbert RC here. Um, and today I am doing an update on my Tamiya Grasshopper, which of course looks very different to how it does in the running videos. That's because a while ago uh, I decided that I'd upgrade the car a bit, make it look really nice, and uh, that's what I did, but I didn't do it on camera because it just took ages. Um, although, uh, the fifth video in the Adventures of the Tamiya Grasshopper. Um, in that video it did have the bigger motor, the new motor mount and a few other upgrades but it still had the original body and wheels. So yeah. Um, right, well let's get started. So, <coughs> at the front we've got the Rad Shape RC aluminium front bumper. Uh, these are really good value, they look really nice. A lot nicer than the stock bumper, which I would show you, but it's in a cupboard somewhere. Um, I suppose we'll move on to these, if you can see them. Uh, in there, the blue Jazz Rider aluminium knuckles. Uh, they're really nice. Uh, look a lot nicer than the um, stock ones, which you... Yeah, I did a comparison photo on the build thread on the Model Sport UK forum. Uh, link in the description. Uh, then going to the back, we've got the aluminium hubs, uh, which look really nice. You know, you don't really see much of this stuff, but I know it's on there, so that makes me happy. And it does look better when you look at the wheels from behind. <coughs> and I suppose, obviously, the, the obvious thing is the wheels themselves. Uh, I got these from a seller on eBay. They're aluminium, anodized in gold, front and rear. I'm going to move the back a bit so it's more in the light. And then the tyres, um, I did fill in the writing. It does look really messy. That's because um, the reason why I don't run this car anymore is because when I did run it, that happened. I took it on some gravel and it, it took all the tyre writing off. Uh, the car didn't look as nice afterwards and I thought, Meh, you know, shelf queen. Um... So then on the back, those are the uh, super grippers, uh, the tyres, uh, which come standard on the Hornet and the Frog. Uh, the Grasshopper comes with the uh, paddle tracks, which are not quite as grippy. These are much better. And then on the front, the standard smoothies. Uh, right, next up, these. These aren't the standard light buckets. These are Absima light buckets. Uh, which I originally bought for something else actually, but they fitted this. A car that I've never actually shown. I used to have a TMC Jekyll. I wanted to put those on the front, but it didn't work, so yeah. Uh, then in the back, you can just see it down there, the aluminium motor mount and the 540 motor. It's just the, the silver can because it makes it, the car look rather authentic. And then you can see that the, uh, the motor mount's very different on that side. And there's a, an 18 tooth uh, pinion gear in there. So that's all good. I had a lot of problems with that. It kept slipping off. Which is why uh, there were a few other running videos that uh, weren't actually completed. Simply because the pinion gear fell out halfway through. So yeah. Uh, right, so now... Uh, yeah, body. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a cold. Um... So, to do the body, I painted the front half, so sort of from here back to here, painted all that gold, and then put some Triple uh, X main Wicked Flames, not Wicked Flames, something else, uh, flame masks down, and then painted over the top in green. And I did the same one here, just painted this section gold, and then put the, uh, the flame mask on top. Painted the whole thing green, peeled it off, green with gold flames. It looks amazing. I think it does anyway. Uh, there are a few more things to go on here. There's a steering kit, which is going to go in to replace the, uh, those rubbish stock links. But other than that, it's pretty much done. And now I'm going to show you something that I've been working on today. As you can probably see, those wires might give you a hint. The slick rock won't. I've <laughs> been fixing up all my cars today, that's why I'm doing this video. But if I can get the switch, 
There you go. They've got some LEDs in there. And this little button here. Ooh, flashing. So this, um, this light kit, I'd like to tell you what brand it was. I'd like to tell you where I got it from. But I don't know where I got it from. I can't think of it off the top of my head. Some go on eBay. And I don't know what brand it is because it didn't come in a box. It came with a bit of paper in a bag. But I only paid 1p for it. Yep. I, uh, it was on bids. Day left. No one had bid on it. Put in a bid for a penny and no one else bid on it. So I got that pretty cheap. Well, very cheap. Plus £5 postage. But still. Yeah, so um, that's the grasshopper. There will be a running video of this. It won't be a very, you know, it won't be a hugely exciting one. Not like the old one where I used to bump it off the, uh, used to use the front bumper as a sort of springboard to get it to flip. So I won't be doing any more of that. But there'll still be running videos. And there's, of course, there's Speaking other cars. Of other cars. Here is another car. Uh, this is my HPI Racing Brahma Ten B. And I thought, since I'm doing the Grasshopper update, might as well give you an update on this, since it's long overdue. So, move that out of the way. Oh, it's getting heavy now. And let's focus on this lovely thing. Um, not a very common car anymore. Uh, they, didn't, they weren't in production for that long. Uh, it's a variation of the HPI E10 chassis. So, yeah, right. Uh, Let's make a start on this one then. Body. Uh, pre-painted body. Oh, not pre-painted. Um, custom painted, rather. <coughs> custom painted body. Uh, did all the stickers. Uh, took a lot of those from the CCO one sticker pack. And then I've got the black wing on there with the Ansman expert line stickers. And the only Ansman stuff in there are the bearings. So, let's get the body off. show you what's inside. So at the back I've got the uh, Helion Radiant Reactor brushless motor. This is a 3500 kV 540 size motor. Uh, it's waterproof and there's the waterproof ESC. Uh, I don't think the fan's waterproof though so that kind of defeats the point. Uh, down in there I've got an Altern servo uh, I'd like to tell you which one, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. Just see if I can read it up. No, can't see it. Uh, I'll I'll put it in the description or something. Uh, there is uh, an HPI RF40 focus. Um, that's the uh, the receiver that goes with my uh, TF40. Yep. And uh, yeah, that's a pretty high end. Thing. I got it second hand on the Motorsport UK forum and got it pretty cheap. Uh, it's a free channel radio. And then in there is the uh, purple aluminium centre drive shaft, which replaces the plastic one. And then some information on the ESC down there as well. You can see it a little better. Um, all I've got to do to this one to get it running is fix the servo saver and get a new battery and all the parts for that are currently on their way to me from Model Sport UK. I use them a lot. Um, I also use Rad Shape RC and uh, Four Wheels uh, Hobby Shop. They don't have a website but they've got a Facebook page so go check them out because that's the closest thing I've got to a local uh, model shop or hobby shop, whatever you want to call it. So please support them. And yeah, that is all from me today. So thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you again soon. And you can look forward to running videos very shortly. And actually, speaking of running videos, the CCO one, that's going to be delayed. I did take, I did do a running video. It didn't go very well. I rolled it down a big hill. It's okay, but I had to stop the filming for that day. So that'll be a little while. Anyway. On a positive note, thank you for watching and goodbye.